Today, I'm going to tell you how to deal with toxic foreign nationals and how you can avoid becoming a toxic foreign national yourself. Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Welcome to Four Seas One Family, where expats, immigrants, and migrants can share and learn about life experiences abroad. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm so, so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey, and welcome to the show. There are many dysfunctional aspects of every nation, and it's all right to respectfully expose these destructive elements at the right time and under the right conditions. However, to constantly harp upon these dysfunctional aspects does nothing but only sideswipes a person's empathy level and poison any logical ways of thinking. And if you decide to live abroad, you will definitely encounter challenges and sometimes provocations may cause you to question why you chose to live abroad in the first place. If these challenges become too overbearing, you may begin to regret that you chose to live abroad. And believe me when I tell you that you won't be the first foreign national who has or will go through this type of experience. Now at this point, you will need to sit back and take a look at the overall picture of your overseas situation to figure out what are the reason or reasons why you are having negative experiences. Now foreign nationals who take the time to learn about the people and the culture of their host nation have very few serious issues adjusting to their new environment. Now, I'm not saying that living and working overseas as a foreign national will always be trouble-free. In fact, far from it. Now, keep in mind that foreign nationals are also people and like people from any place else in the world. They sometimes make mistakes while trying to adjust to their new living situation. Some, if any negative occurrences faced while living abroad may be related to the lack or of understanding, I should say, of a local language or the inability of the people in the local population to comprehend foreigners to simple things like how people address each other in a particular culture. All in all, forward-thinking foreign nationals find the negative experiences they encounter, no matter how mundane they may be, to be just ways to learn more about the place and the people who make up the culture they decided to live in, and this is all good. But not everyone who moves overseas is going to enjoy their overseas experience, and unfortunately, this is the case for a lot of foreign nationals who have a hard time adjusting to a new environment, and the people who are native to that environment. Now, some foreign nationals may become bitter, disgruntled and can only see the negativity around them. And because of this unfortunate fact, it is not uncommon for foreign nationals living abroad to come into contact with other fellow foreign nationals who constantly carry a chip on their shoulders. It seems like they are never able to let go of the negative experiences they have encountered while living abroad, and they exclusively focus on or look for ways to blame others for their negative experiences. It's almost like they are living in a perpetual state of an external locus of control. External locus of control. A general belief that successes or failures result from external factors beyond a person's control, such as luck, fate, circumstance, injustice, bias, unfairness, prejudice, or combination of all or other negative factors. They focus on their need for others to live up to their expectations, lifestyle choices, or cultural beliefs. They often request that others service their needs to the standards they set, and they refuse to admit that they themselves have faults. And this is just a toxic point of view to keep. Foreign nationals who do have toxic and unstable personalities often display unforgiving, abusive behaviors to members of the local populations and to fellow foreign nationals as well. When engaging in conversations, they often try to control or manipulate the outcomes or conclusions to fit their particular point of view at the time. Some often 
employ a technique of building guilt in the people around them in order to persuade opinions. Foreign nationals who are unable or who don't want to learn about the culture they live in create blind spots in their ways of thinking, and this prevents them from seeing the culture they live in with an open mind. They often have a hard time understanding why people from other nations do the things they do, and they stubbornly hold opinions that people from other nations should learn from them and conform to their ways of thinking in order to be considered civilized. They also try to persuade other foreign nationals to adopt their beliefs and prejudices, which not only helps them manipulate the behaviors of other foreign nationals, but also adds some validity to their lopsided opinions. Their mostly condescending words and opinions becomes contagious derogatory stereotypes. And when their points of views are challenged or threatened, they try to fabricate proof to support their biased and sometimes hysterically emotional beliefs. In other words, they try to drag other foreign nationals along with them down their rabbit hole. Toxic foreign nationals amplify their complaints, observations, and opinions about nearly everything that happens or happened within their host nation. They have opinions about simple things like the weather, the traffic situation, local social events, local politics, religious practices, the quality of living, and even the way people privately socialize with each other. Nothing's off limits. They magnify their victim mentality to make it sound like they are constantly under threat and stress, and the world is crumbling around them. It's like they are unable to find solutions for the predicament they feel has been forced upon them, and in the end, They become burdened, overwhelmed, or overloaded with what they feel are unsolvable problems. And this could lead to more serious mental and physical problems. And unfortunately, all of this can be described as classism, ethnocentrism, or simply xenophobia. Most foreign nationals living long-term overseas will at some point experience some negative treatment, And in some cases, this is unavoidable and sometimes even expected. People in a local population may occasionally avoid sitting next to a foreign national on public transportation, shy from offering foreign nationals services in in places like a shopping mall, coffee shop, or even a restaurant in a timely manner. And in some cases, totally ignore them. Now, Keep in mind that this may simply be because people in the local population aren't used to interacting with people who don't speak their mother tongue, don't look like them, don't share their same cultural, social beliefs, or physical attributes. And the list just goes on and on. But also, it is a fact that at particular times, foreign nationals are labeled as being toxic as a way to reinforce popular yet negative stereotypes or cultural beliefs. The level of dissatisfaction may be linked to public opinion, prejudices, or recent local or international disputes that aren't exclusively attributed to a particular foreign national's behavior or performance. And this is an unfortunate situation that is being displayed more commonly in today's world and also the reason why people of the world need to learn more about one another because fear and hatred only and always lead to dead ends. Situations like these, whether true or not, only add to a toxic foreign national's reasons for highlighting negative opinions and observations. And this makes these negative observations and opinions hard to refute head on. Now, don't become disillusioned if, in fact, you learned that some of the negative statements that was said by a fellow foreign national about a host nation turn out to be true. You have to keep a clear, unbiased foundation to formulate your own opinions in a way that doesn't make you toxic yourself. And if you find yourself becoming overly pessimistic about your overseas experience, remember that you are responsible for making your overseas experience valuable. Only you. Try to find someone in the local population who also at one time themselves been a foreign national living abroad. 
It is most likely that they would be more sympathetic and offer you suggestions concerning how people in their local population see foreigners and how you can cope. Now, take the time to learn about your host nation's history, especially how disputes with other nations were handled. Find out if any past event could cause people in the local population to hold resentments against you, your home nation, or others, because resentments can remain hidden for a long time and could one day cause problems to appear out of nowhere. Now, if you find yourself unable to adjust to a life in a host nation, it may be best for you to move on to someplace else where you can feel accepted because a toxic mindset isn't a piece of luggage you want to be carrying around with you. My questions for you today are, how would you or do you respond to a fellow foreign national's negative observations of a host nation, regardless if what was said was actually true or not? Would you refute any opinions or observations you feel aren't true or just remain silent? What do you think is the best way to express dissatisfaction with a host nation that doesn't make someone sound like they are being totally biased? If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas, One Family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan, and remember to take care wherever you are in the world.